it's embarrassing to admit, I came 98,000 in the last solo cash cup. But what did I do wrong? And how can you guys avoid making the exact same mistakes as me? It is time to hit that little VOD review. And if you want to make a little bit more, make sure you check out the solo superstars. Link in the description by Destiny Jesus. It's the best possible way to improve its solos. And you get coached by the best players and the best coaches in the world and tips from all of them. It is crazy. So I got 62 points and this is my match history. As you can see, I was playing dreadful today. Well, yesterday when the cash cup was. I was playing dreadful. Absolutely dreadful. Probably the worst I've ever played in a cash cup of my life. Last week, I got 121 points. Three points off qual. This week, half that. Awful. But what can we learn? It's logical to assume because I played so bad that there's going to be a lot of very obvious mistakes I made that you guys can learn from. So let's start off with the first game. Well, from what I can see here, I'm leaving off spawn and I have some pretty crazy loot. I have a gold sovereign and a blue AR, so I don't see what goes wrong here. I also have fizz and I'm getting my mats up right now. I also managed to get my dally in here, which is obviously impressive. I now have the best loot in the game, plus the medallion of Siphon, which is even better. Okay, I'm not sure how this can go wrong. Okay, we're just playing out on medkits and storm, waiting for the next zone to pull, I assume. You can see it's pulling, and I think I'm waiting to see where it pulls, so I can then go to it with the use of the bomb. Super good strategy. And again, nothing's wrong. I'm completely stacked. So it has to be a fighting issue that goes wrong here, as opposed to a rotation issue, because I don't make it anywhere near endgame. So right here, I make the rookie error of going to this house and not checking anything properly. Listen, listen, I have about five my cap wood, okay? I have cap wood. There is no possible reason why I should not be building throughout this house. Building, checking spots, so I don't get camped on. This is why I die game one. I am looking so chilly. Instead, I'm crouching up because I hear footsteps outside the building, but I'm not looking in the building. And this is obviously a big issue. I should be building this wall right here. I should be checking underneath the stairs. I shouldn't just be crouching to avoid the players outside. I should be building. You should always try to avoid campers. Another great way is to check all the bushes with a gun or even build up on them. This is what happens in my game. I should have been alerted by this. It's just bad awareness for me. This is the player's gun. It's sticking straight through the wall. If I was been building, I would have seen it anyway. But for some reason, I did notice it. And that is just terrible awareness from me. You can see that instantly as I turn around, he catches me off guard. And it's just wraps from there. I think that kind of started the tournament off with a little bit of a negative, which kind of brought through that kind of negative throughout the whole thing. The second was an off spawn death and the third was a five minute game. So we're going to watch this one. 54th. That shows it was dead. This is the second of four off spawn deaths. So we've really got to crack the issue of what I'm doing wrong off spawn. And then hopefully you guys will not die off spawn the same way I did this cup. Because last week I was not dying off spawn at all. I had no off spawn deaths. Not a single one. So clearly this week I was doing something a lot different. Maybe playing slightly more aggressive which obviously is an issue if I'm going down this early. I do all of this, I get the boss all super fast. I've got such good loot right now. I'm carrying a pump, and I was playing dreadful this day. I was playing so bad yesterday, and fighting was awful, and my aim was awful. And I think straight after this, I then hopped on Kovacs, and I started Kovacs training. My aim was just not it today, and my builds were not it either. What I was aiming for, I saw some glide over here, so my normal strategy is to is to come and key them because they have far less loot than I do. You can see my loot, I've got medallion as well. I have, I'm in a superior position to win this fight. I then hear someone behind me though. This is the issue then. It then becomes a bit of a dodgy fight. I make a mistake, I'll turn nameplates on right now. I make the mistake of thinking that that this is a this player from the island. I think this is a player from the island, meaning that I'm not even looking at the island anymore. But if we, if we switch to drone 3 right now, you can see, if we look over to the island, that there is some monster on the island. We've got Ono, the I9 Mongrel, and Phase Ermin. We got the island guy, and then we got this guy. I don't even know where this guy landed, but this guy is here. And he was actually crouching towards me as I'm, as I'm kind of doing this right now. But, so I made the mistake of not instantly assuming that there was a diff another player. I know this kid's bad, okay? This kid is dreadful. He's carrying the duelies. Like, he, he is bad. But as I said, I've not want my aim, so we end up trading the same amount of damage straight out of the gate. I then hit him 100. This should be an easy fight ender here. 
I should be finishing this fight in less than less than 30 seconds. It should be over and done, and I'll be able to fight the other guy that's currently sitting on the island, as you can see from the map. He's nowhere near us. We can finish this fight before he's even done. So how do we mess this up from here? How do we mess this up? Well, we miss a shot straight out of the gate. That should be an easy 50. That's one shot miss already. We then mess up our builds, and we take another massive hit. So we actually get hit here. So now he's got the health advantage. Two massive mistakes in just like a couple seconds. He then tries to spray in, and we're not looking the best for Matt's still with 22 builds. We gotta try to end this fight off pretty fast. I think after this happens, and I realize I'm playing awfully, I start to heal up a little bit. But it's not really gonna be much difference if we then make this mistake, editing out the top and getting hit another 40. I really don't know what I was thinking this fight. I'm just not really confident in my shots hitting people with a pump shotgun. We then hit him 28, he hits us 100, and he is such good health right now, it's crazy. And we're on 46 health. And now, this fight has lasted long enough for the other player, Ermin, to come over and fight us, which is not great. This fight should already be over. I should be on Ermin right now, fighting Ermin, because Ono 9 Mongrel was terrible, and he instantly, he does kill Ermin, just about. And this is a one-tap type of situation, and I still lose this. I don't have awareness whatsoever. I should have sprayed through the ramp or I should have expected the drop down. What is that game? Honestly, it's times like that when I think I will never do well in Cold Ball Night. But last week gave us hope, 120 points. And this week, our fighting was just not it. So in answer to the question, why did I not qual for the Solovici Cash Cup? So far, I think we can 100% say off spawn deaths. And that is what a lot of people in Solekovici cash groups are kind of struggling with at the moment. You've got to be playing out these fights a lot better. Finding maybe splits where you don't have to fight. I didn't have to fight that, but I was feeling super confident for some reason, despite my dodgy, dodgy fighting that day. But, you know, just find a split where you don't have to fight, definitely. In this one, you can see I'm instantly keying over here. I think this was another stinker for my aim. This is why I installed Kovacs the other day, shout. This is why I installed Kovacs, this game specifically. I obviously see someone's gone down here, and I have the mat advantage. I have great loot. Look at this loot. The fight should be over before it even starts. And it is pretty much. I hit him a lot, but then missed the AR shots that would allow me to kill him. I then jump around. I then aim for another couple shots. I then missing my more AR shots. I had another couple opportunities to hit him there. And I then run in and miss and miss another shot. And Oh my god. We had this big long storm fight and I was so nervous because I'd, I'd just been losing fights all day that I just completely messed up against this guy. He had 100% had like no PR and zero, zero anything. He probably wasn't even in a good rank, but like I was making such a big deal of this fight. Like I was trying to make perfect shots because I knew that I hadn't been hitting them. You can see me, I'm just camping on height for some reason. This poor guy bro. And then finally I get in. I decided to edit on him and finish him off. Finally, bro. It took far too long. That fight was like a three-minute fight. Then get on to our second kill. We had six kills this game. Not too shabby. This one, this play was just on me. He had a health advantage. I tried to get the cone over. It doesn't work. I hit him 118 anyway. And then I just about kill him. I know it says 108, but I don't think I was 108 health, honestly. In this fight right here, I get the code over him. You can see it perfectly, pretty good. And then I just hack in and finish him off. I was a bit more confident at this point. I had three kills right now, so I, I, that was my third kill. I was feeling a bit more confident in my fighting. I was feeling a little bit more swifty with it. I was finally feeling like I was hitting my stride that day. This guy was actually one of the best players in the lobby, 100%. And it was a close one, honestly. It was very close. It ended up going down to a 50-50 because he was a good fighter. And I was... I was struggling against him. He hit a lot of counter damage against me. Unlike this guy, bro. This guy was a bit of a drone. I wish I could I wish I could give him a bit of uh, credit, but yeah, he, he was a bit of a, a bit of a drone. And then when we finally get to a point where we could win the game, we die to a cheater. I'm going to blur out his name, but he, but he was a hundred percent cheating. I can I can inform you. He just we look at what he's doing. He just quad dinks me just like that. Look at that straight 49 dink. Yep. Yeah. Honestly, pretty crazy. 
really unfortunate, but I should have had a much better start of the tournament. This is my my kind of journey to get into the Victory Cup Finals chat. And I can play Endgame. I'm pretty good at Endgame. So I reckon when I get that, I should not have much trouble getting a top 5 or a top 10 at least. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want me to VOD the, the tournament where I got 121 points, let me know in the comment section. And check out Solo Superstars, which will be in the description. Check out the video on the screen. It'll be somewhere down here or down here. I don't know which side of the screen I am. But it is a banger and YouTube likes it when people watch more than one of my videos. So go ahead and check it out and I'll see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day.